The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. I ain't much good at making light conversation, Cameo. You just leave that up to me, Hoss. I can rattle on enough for the two of us. My, what a glorious night. Smell the air, it's so sweet. Yeah. Right that must be honeysuckle. There's lots of it around here. I just love this place. It's so peaceful and quiet. Away from the noise of the town. It's uh, getting late, Hoss. Cameo. Uh, there's, there's something I'd, there's something I'd like to say to you. Oh, well, what's that, Hoss? Ain't nothing. I, ain't nothing important. I, uh, best be getting inside. Cameo. Yeah. You reckon, uh, you reckon I could, you reckon I could kiss you? Tender-like? I reckon you could.
Them, Sheriff, it's got to be. Take the horse, Jay. Just hold it right there, boys. Howdy, the Sheriff. What's going on? That's what we want to find out. Where you boys been? They were at my brother's house wearing masks. I saw them drag Peg and Jess out of the house and kill them. Now, and what about it? You there with the green jacket. You come up here where I can see your face. I never thought he'd turn to this. Clem Johnson was a friend of mine, but no excuse for this. He's not the only cattleman around that's been taking a beating. Think of all the steers we've lost. I'd rather lose every living thing in the Ponderosa than resort to the rope. Look, you're a cattleman, Pa. How come you weren't asked to join the vigilante pack? I was asked. Didn't show you the letters. <sighs> Sent to stock owners all over the territory. Full of noble, virtuous arguments. All they liked was one thing. Signatures. Well, I think I'll go up and get a little rest. You know, I wonder about that fellow that got away. Oh, they'll catch up with him sooner or later. No, it could be anybody. Nobody saw him. I think I did. Will you tell the sheriff about it? No, sir. Why not? Well, Paul, I didn't actually see nobody around the... Morehouse place. I just saw a bunch of men riding from that direction. They might not have had nothing to do with it. I don't know. But you recognize some of them? One of them. Well, who was it? It was Jim Applegate. But Jim ain't the sort to go vigilante. Well, neither was Clem Johnson. Hoss, oh, you've got to tell the sheriff about this. Paul, I know Jim. He's just a hard-working wrangler. But I still think you have an obligation to tell the sheriff that you saw him with some of the men near the scene of the lynching. Yeah, I reckon I do. I'll talk to the sheriff in the morning while I go into town. Hoss! I didn't expect to see you this morning. Well, I uh, heard about last night. You finding those people, it must have been awful. Yeah, it wasn't very pretty. Well, would you like to come inside for a little while? Yeah, thanks. I, I can't stay but a minute. I've got to get on into town. Hello, Hoss. Hiya, Jim. I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> I guess I'm doing the same thing you're doing, visiting Cameo. Well, isn't this nice? You two know each other. Sure do. Next to you, Hoss, probably the only real friend I got. Why don't you just sit there and make yourself comfortable? I'll make us some tea. Won't that be nice? Jim Dudley. I didn't know 
we was both courting the same gal, Hoss. Likewise. She sure is a nice gal, though, ain't she? Real nice. Jim, I ain't, I ain't seen you around lately. Well, I've been around. Lost my job, though. I've been looking for work. It was mighty fancy new boots for a man out of work. Well, you know me, Hoss. Never save for tomorrow what you can spend today. The tea will be ready in a minute. Well, it looks like winter's about over, doesn't it? Reckon so. The Indians say when the hazelnut is about the size of a, a squirrel's ear, it's safe to put in seeds. <laughs> I go by a corner of my left foot. When the swelling goes down, summer's on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a uh, horse don't feel much like laughing. He found those poor people last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whole town's talking about it. A poor woman. It must have been awful. Had no call to kill that woman. They had no call to kill nobody. You expect more company, Cameo? Don't tell me a horse ain't my only competition. Goodness, no, I can't imagine who that could be. Morning. Jim Applegate, you're under arrest. Under arrest? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you being one of them vigilantes. That's what I'm talking about. Take him out, boys. Oh, Sheriff, Jim oh, couldn't possibly on. do anything like Get that. My hat. I'm afraid he could and did. Them two folks that murdered last night are no more cattle rustlers than you or me. They're just a couple of homesteaders who are giving some stockman a little trouble over land rights. You shouldn't be taken up with a man like that. He's a murderer. Hoss! Hoss, they're making a terrible mistake. Jim's no vigilante. Hoss, I want to go into town right now. Kimmy, will you? You best stay out of this. Stay out of it? He's your friend, too, Hoss. Do you really believe he could have killed two innocent people? I don't know. Maybe he didn't think they was too innocent. How can you say that? I don't believe what the sheriff says. I'm going, Hoss. You can stay if you want to. What are you doing here, Cartwright? Coming to see your friends? I guess that sort of comes under the head of my business, don't it? Is it your business to murder innocent people? Mr. Morehouse, I'm, I'm terrible sorry about your brother and his wife. Forget your sympathy. I don't need it. They were lynched by cattlemen. And you're a cattleman. Good afternoon, Sheriff. Uh, Sheriff, we'd like to see Jim Applegate. Horse, you got no call to get mixed up in this. Well, just the same, we'd like to see him. Well, I reckon I can't deny you that right. Are you all right, Jim? They didn't hurt you, did they? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm sorry about this, Cameo. I guess I kind of busted up our tea party. You shouldn't have come down here. I shouldn't have come down here? They took an innocent man right out of my house and threw him into jail, didn't they? Yeah, well, I guess you're about the only one in town that believes I'm innocent. How about you, Hoss? I don't make no difference what I think, Jim. It's what the law proves, it counts. Heck, I couldn't lynch nobody. You know that cameo. I'm as sure of that, Jim, as I am of anything. The horse ain't so sure. 
Why, sure he is. Huss, isn't that so? I, I hope he is, yeah. Hope he is? What kind of talk is that? How could you even doubt it? Maybe he's got a reason. What possible reason could he have? You. Jim, you know better than that. I ain't so sure of the way you're acting. Look, hasn't either one of you in your life ever met anybody that you could trust, that, that you just knew was telling the truth? Jim, that's the way I feel about you. And, Hoss, that's the way I feel about you. Ma'am, looks like you're wrong about both of them. Who are you? I'm uh, Frank Gideon, ma'am. I'm one of those terrible fellas that lynched them homesteaders. And Jim Boy was right there at my side, weren't you, Jim? That's a lie! Camille, Hoss, he's lying, believe me. I believe you, Jim. Jim, you, you and me have known each other for a long time. I've always respected you for a honest sort of fellow, and I'd, I'd like to believe you. You'd like to, but you can't. Jim, I seen you last night. Seen me where? Riding in from the Moore houses with a bunch of other fellers. I seen you just as plain and clear as I see you right now. That's right, Hoss. I was with them. That's a fact. But I didn't take part in that lynching. What was you doing with them? Well, I met them just as they was leaving the Morehouse place. I was heading back from Canlin Spread, just the other side of Truckee. I was over there looking for work. And Mr. Canlin can verify what you're telling me? There wasn't nobody home when I got there. I plumb forgot that Canlin rides his scrub stock in the market on the 15th. And there ain't nobody that can tell where you was. I'm telling you the truth, Hoss. I'm innocent, I swear it. <laughs> it's funny, they all say that right up to the time they swing. Ain't that right, mister? All right, go tell the sheriff. Tell him that you saw me. Go ahead, maybe it'll do you some good. What's that supposed to mean? You know what I mean. With me out of the way. You're not going to have any competition with Cameo. You're not going to gain nothing by stirring up a lot of hate. It ain't me that's been stirring it up, cattlemen. There's been a lot of mistakes made. A lot of mistakes made by both sides. You going to keep on making them? Let's show them what we do to cattlemen, boys. You just stay right where you are. That goes for all of you. You ain't stopping me, cattlemen! Mr. Morehouse, I don't want to hurt you. 
Your brother and his wife were two innocent people. Those two fellas in there might be, too. Don't you want to hang around and find out? They're guilty, Hoss. They're as guilty as sin. But they will be accorded the due process. They'll get all the due process they need. Same kind they gave my brother and a helpless woman. Come on, Come on, come on, come on. Now, wait a minute, boys. I told you earlier that a gathering like this was illegal, and I asked you to break it up. But now I'm telling you to break it up. So go on, get before somebody gets into real trouble. Horse, this man is a no good drifter. Now forget about him. He's always been that way. This time he's got himself into real trouble and he's going to pay for it. Roy, I, I thought your job was catching criminals, not hanging them. Oh, horse. My job is protecting the public. But that don't mean I ain't got a right to my own personal opinion. Dad, burn it, Roy. I got a right to my opinion, too. And there might be just an outside chance that Jim's telling the truth. What about these? How much can you let this boy twist the truth to suit himself? I don't know. But I'm gonna find out. I gotta. Hoss, I didn't expect to see you again. I'm sorry about what I said before. I guess I must have had a burn in my saddle. Forget it. Just keep talking, dear boy. Just keep talking. Maybe he'll forget about you trying to steal his car. Don't listen to him, Hoss. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Don't I? Why don't you tell him about you and me? I think he'd be mighty interested in hearing. That's got nothing to do with this. Ain't it? You told the sheriff yet you'd seen Jim Boy with us. Why don't you shut up? I think you'd better. I'm just trying to help, mister. That little girl of yours. Jim Boy here's got his eye on her. Gideon, shut up. Oh, come on, Jim Boy. Steal another fella's girl's nothing new to you. Remember. Don't listen to him, Hoss. I've seen this boy work. Oh, he's got away with women. Yeah, they melt like hot teller when he looks at them. They forget about everybody else. Ain't that right, Jim boy? Ain't like it sounds. Hoss! Hoss, listen to me. Hoss! Roy. Yeah? Hoss, what's the matter, boy? You got something to tell me? He's gonna tell them now, Jim boy. That's all they'll need to get you good. Well, if it ain't the law to be them homesteaders, yeah, they're gonna dangle you into nowhere. Just like me. Why don't you stop? It'd be kind of fitting, won't it? Two men in love with the same woman, dangling from the same tree. Uh, then I guess you never really did love her. You just used her. Till she couldn't think about anybody else but you. That was a long time ago. You gonna carry that around in your gut for the rest of your life? It's easy for you, Jim. Everything's always been easy for you. I just love them and leave them. I didn't take Ellen away from you. She couldn't stand the sight of you. Ellen? Oh. Oh, yeah. My wife. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about her. I guess I never cared very much for Ellen. She's not the one I hate you for. It's the first one you stole from me. That's the one I hate you for. That's 
say when I hate you. Out, Jim boy. Uh, I didn't mean what I said. Uh, honest, Jim. It, it's all in the past. Give me the keys, huh? The keys. That's more of a chance than you give me. Two days. I ain't got an account for nobody, have I? Well, no, we just missed your strong back around here, that's all. I do my share. Well, you don't have to get so riled up about it. I ain't riled up. Oh, I guess red's uh, your natural color, hmm? Maybe it is. What are you making your bullets for? Are you too cheap to go in town and buy them? Hold on to a dollar longer than anybody I've ever seen. Now, wait a minute. Oh, excuse us. No, come on. I want to find out what's the matter I'm with alone. you. Applegate thing troubling you? I guess I'm letting it get me down. Is that the only reason? No, sir. There's a girl. You know, Cameo. Well, what's Cameo gonna do with it? I like Cameo a whole lot, Paul. So does Jim. And I gotta make sure that if I tell him what I saw, it ain't gonna be just to get rid of him. It seems to me that you're letting your personal feelings influence you to the point where they're interfering with what you're obligated to do. Paul, that's exactly what I'm trying not to do. Don't you see, the, the sheriff already thinks Jim's guilty, and everybody else does. All they need is an eyewitness. Me. I think there's one possibility which you seem to be avoiding. Maybe he is guilty. Jim Applegate and Frank Gideon. Well, they're in jail. Don't give me that, Cartwright. They're out and you know it. Your boy helped them to escape and he's hiding them here. Us? Last time I saw him, he was in jail, Paul. He's lying. They're friends of his. Now, Mr. Morehouse, you're a little excited, so I'll overlook the fact that you've called my son a liar. But my patience wears very thin. So is mine, Cartwright. We'll find them. And when we do, We'll give them exactly what they gave my brother and his wife. Well, Hoss, what about it? You didn't help him escape, did you? Of course not. 
What are you off to? I'm gonna get my hat and gun, take a little ride. I think I know where Jim might be. I love you, Cameo. I love you, Jim. First, I tried not to, but I just couldn't help myself. I got to run. I hate running. But I got to if I'm going to stay alive. Then I'll run with you, Jim. It wouldn't be fair. See, that's, that's not right. Are you thinking about Hoss? I can't help it. I know how Hoss feels about you. He's been very decent to me, Cameo, and nobody else has. I don't belong to Hoss, Jim. Cameo. Were you ever a horse's girl? I thought I might be once. Until... Until what? Until I realized how much I care for you. I'll go pack us some food. We can't stay here. Kill you, Jim. I wouldn't use mine either. Jim, you you pretty near had me believing you back there in the jail. I never lied to you. Why did you run off? Deck stacked, Hoss. They even got an eyewitness. Jim, I didn't tell them what I saw. The worst possible thing you could have done was to run away. It just makes you even look that much guiltier. Well, I guess it doesn't matter how guilty I look now. Yes, it does. I'm taking you back, Jim. Nobody's taking me in there, Hoss. Not even you. Jim, I respect how you feel. But I have to. Why do you have to? I gotta find the truth out about you, Jim. And the law has a right to decide it. Is that your only reason? No, it ain't. I ain't gonna let you ruin Cameo's life just because she feels sorry for you. You gotta quit fooling yourself, Hoss. She doesn't feel sorry for me. She loves me. I'm taking Cameo and I'm leaving. No, you ain't. Well, you're gonna have to shoot me if you want to stop me. Jim! Let him go, Hoss. I said let him go! I can't do that, Cameo. You're gonna have to. He's gotta go back for his own good. They'll kill him, Hoss. Not if he ain't guilty, they won't. You keep saying that, and you don't even believe it yourself. Cameo, it, it don't make no difference what I believe. We gotta go by the rules. Otherwise, all the things we ever believed in don't mean nothing. I don't care anything about rules anymore. All I care about is what I feel inside. You just, you just feel sorry for him. You don't really love him. Don't I? <laughs>
What's wrong? Wrong, Lou. Nothing's wrong. It's just funny. I was just remembering a thing a fella once told me and how right he was. I don't understand. I don't understand either, Camille. But I got to admit the fella is right. Jim, don't talk like that. You frighten me. I always get the best of everything, don't I? What are you talking about? You're running for your life. Those men back there want to kill you. I don't mean that. Don't you understand? I'm talking about you. Jim, please. I took you away from the horse, didn't I? No. No. It was my choice. I'm here because I love you. Don't move, Applegate. Just get up nice and slow. Well, this is a surprise. We figured you were holed up somewhere on the Ponderosa. We were tracking your friend Gideon. We're gonna hang you from the same tree where you hanged my brother. Mr. Morris, he didn't have anything to do with that lynching. You got no cause to worry. We ain't gonna hurt no woman. Now, you're free to go, Miss Cameo. Or you can stay and watch him hang. It's up to you. You go on. You go ahead. No, I won't go. I won't leave you. Oh, you got to go try to find the sheriff. Get some help. Sure, get the sheriff. He'll get back here in time to cut him down. You can just mold it in any shape you want. I, I got feelings on the inside, too. Oh, I know you do, Hobbs. I know you have, but I deserve anything you may think about me, but you just got to help him. He doesn't deserve to be murdered. Oh, please, Hobbs. You want me to go out there and risk my neck to save him so he can have you? Yeah. That's what I want. Let's go. <laughs> Ain't no way of stopping you from hanging an innocent man, is there? None whatsoever. All you want to see is blood, huh? Go ahead, Morehouse. Get it over with quick. All right, boys. Morehouse, if that horse moves, I'll kill you. Now, you boys, put your guns out here in a little pile. That's the way, and then move over to the tree. Move slow, but move. Stay here, Camille. That goes for you too, Mr. Morehouse. Right over there.
away. Looks like you're in kind of a spot, Jim boy. Get in. Cut him down. I, I can't hold him much longer. Cut him down? I've been waiting 30 years to see my brother at the end of a rope. Your brother? Folks always found that hard to believe, didn't they, Jim boy? You, the handsome woman stealing ladies' man, my brother, Jim Gideon. No, you've got the wrong man. That's Jim Applegate. He's my brother, and he took everything. Her name, her love. If he's your brother, cut him down. She loved me before you came along. You. Her love child. She ought to be here now, Jim boy. Stroke your hair and hold your hand and sing your songs. Maybe then... Sing your songs. I was four or five years old. She used to lock me out of the house. I'd sit under the window and listen to her. Talk to you. Sing to you. She forgot all about me. One day I, I tried to climb in and she slammed the window. Drop my brother, Cartwright. Drop him now or I'll shoot you out from under him. Do what he says, Oz. Drop him! I'll kill you with the next one, Cartwright. He means it, Oz. He'll kill you. truth about everything. I lied to you. I was there when they lynched those people. But I thought that they was only going to scare them. I'm sorry, Hawks. And Cameo, you, you just got to believe me. I really do love you. Oh. Come on, horse. 
we got to take care of that arm. Thank you, Mr. Morehouse. It's difficult to put things into words sometimes. I know it is. Don't even try. You were so right, Hoss. You do have to go by the rules. No, I don't... I don't reckon any of us was right. Just a lot of folks looking for different things in the wrong places. I know. But I'll never forget you, Hoss. You've been so very good to me. I'll never forget you either, Cameo. Goodbye, Hoss. Same way about it, don't you, boy? Yes, sir. I don't reckon a man's feeling to change overnight. No. Did you tell her? No, sir. Why not? Why not, son? I know how she felt about your map, okay, but. Jim's gone. No, Paul. Jim ain't gone. He'll never be gone. Not for Camille, he won't. 